Welcome to this tutorial on using the Query Designer in Spreadsheet Server. Query Designer is a powerful visual tool that allows you to design, maintain, and run queries with ease. To get started, open the Query Designer by selecting the Spreadsheet Server ribbon, then click on Query Designer. The Query Designer window will appear. In this window, you will see all your recently opened and existing queries listed under the Recent section. Simply click on a query to reopen it. For quick access to your most used queries, you can star mark them. These starred queries will be listed under Favorites. If you need to explore more queries, click on Browse to see all available options. Now, let's create a new query. Click the New Query button, and the New Query Information panel will appear. Specify a unique name and an optional description for your query. Click the Select Available Connection drop down list, choose the appropriate connection, and then click Create. Based on the setup of the connection, either a login or the Add Tables panel appears. To add tables to your favorites list, click the star icon next to the table in the rightmost column of the grid. The table will then be added to the Favorites tab. To select a table, view, or existing query for building your query, simply choose the desired table, view, or query, and click Add. For this video, we'll be selecting a view. Query Designer lets you preview data for selected fields. To do this, right-click the field and select Preview Field Data. This feature helps you determine the appropriate fields or selection criteria for your query. The Limit Get Values to Triple N Records option in the settings controls the maximum number of records retrieved. To add a field to your query, double-click the field or right-click it and select Add to Query. The field will then be added to the bottom of the field list grid. Select multiple fields to create a comprehensive field list for your new query. You can rename the fields by updating the alias field, Sort. This option lets you decide if and how to sort the field. You can choose Ascending, Descending, or Not Sorted. Shown. This indicates whether the field will be visible in the query output. By default, all fields are visible. If you unselect this option for a field, it can still be used as selection criteria but won't appear in the query output. Run Query. This option runs the current query and returns all records. You can use the F5 key in the SQL window as a shortcut to run the query. Test Query. This option runs the current query and returns the first 1,000 records. For more options, click the drop-down list and enter the number of records you want to run. Right-click any selected field and choose Add Calculated Field to open the Expression Builder. This tool lets you access the query source tables and parameters and offers features to help you create a calculated field. Here, we will create a calculated field to determine the amount. First, search for the unit price and multiply it by the quantity. Then, multiply this result by 1 minus the discount. Test the expression by clicking on Test. The test is successful. Name the calculated field Amount. Then, run the test query. You will see the Amount field added in the Results Viewer panel. To access the SQL panel, click on the SQL Expandable menu in Query Designer. The SQL panel allows you to abort an actively executing query. It also displays the SQL text to be executed for both detail and summary queries. By selecting the auto generated checkbox, which is selected by default, the system continually updates the text to reflect modifications made in the visual layout. It is recommended to keep this option checked. Now, to bring in information from other tables, click the Tables option. Hold down the Control key and select the tables you want to add from the Add Tables window. Once you've selected the tables, click Add to add them to your query. In the Query Canvas, Click and drag a field from one table to the corresponding field in another table. The system will draw a line, indicating which fields are joined. If necessary, repeat this step to create additional joins, which may be needed to establish the appropriate one-to-one -one or one-to-many relationships between tables. In the Query Canvas, double-click the line connecting the two tables, or select the Relationship line and right-click. The Join Properties panel will appear, 
Note that the Advanced Options are only visible if the Show Advanced Options checkbox is selected. Under Join Type, specify the appropriate join type. By default, an inner join is selected, which includes only rows where the joined fields from both tables match. Additional options allow you to join all records from the left table and only matching records from the right table, or join all records from the right table and only matching records from the left table. To add a field to your query, double-click it. You'll see it reflected at the bottom of the field list and in the auto-generated SQL box. You can change the name of the newly added field, drag it to change the order, or right-click and select options to move it up or down. There are other options such as Insert Calculated Field, Preview Field Data, and Duplicate Field. We will look at the Add Smart Parameter option. When you select Add Smart Parameter, a field parameter is added to the parameters grid with a default value of asterisk. The smart parameter is then inserted into the first criteria field. You can add smart parameters for as many fields as you need. Modify the default value to specify what should be used for the parameter. Enter a date range and click Test Query to ensure the results match the specified date range in the smart parameter. Feel free to add different parameters as well. Additionally, you can insert parameters in the criteria field to define the scope of your query results. To run a summary, you need to specify a GEXQ summary value. Right-click on any field and select Set as Summary Field GEXQ. In the Summary Field panel, choose the desired summary type. We will select Sum. A summation formula is added to the field, indicating that it is tied to a summary formula. You can also check the Summary tab in the SQL panel, where the Summary SQL is automatically generated. Click Run Summary to get a single summarized result. You can save the query you have built in your desired folder. Thank you for watching our Query Designer tutorial. Happy querying!